Hello my friends and welcome. It is wonderful to have you here. I am Morjax. We are playing Fallout 4, continuing the adventures of Mick Diggles. So, we're going to start off our day right here with a bit of brutality. Oh, legendary raider, let's wreck him. Oh, the, le the enemy is mutated? Dude's on fire! Holy crap! Whoa! Hunter's rolling pin? This is 50- 50, 50% 50 more damage against animals? A rolling pin? That's amazing. Alright. Did you guys hear that? It's, uh, uh... Let's turn that off. It's, uh... Flight of the Valkyries. Dun dun da da dun 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 da da dun dun. We want apparel. I want to equip that stuff right away if it's better. Seven? Yeah, that's an upgrade. Alright, we are pretty dang full here. His buddy didn't notice. Attack dog and raider scum. Oh, I keep doing that, guys. Jeez. I hit escape and I need to be hitting. Oh, come at me, bro. Dark Hollow Pond. <laughs> okay, we're gonna... Stand it up. Running. Get him. Okay. One punch. Oh, the takedown. Break the neck. Alright. Come on. Dog meat, did you kill that other dog? Oh, no, you didn't. Okay. Ah, jeez, I'm I'm having like keyboard ah. issues here. Come here, puppy. Punch you in the tooth. There we go. Skull bandana. Come here, dog meat. I got a bandana for you. It's still warm. Hey. <laughs> All right, trade. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send the bandana dog meat's way. Uh, and so what we're gonna try to do is uh, go for some... I keep doing that, guys. Go for some story missions um, this episode. So I need to go ahead and clear out uh, my inventory. So I'm going to travel back to our settlement. And then uh, we're... Let me show you the map here. We're going to be on our way south to the Diamond City. So I think... Uh, I mean, we're going to see how far we can get, but... Uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, my friends, we have made it quite close to the Diamond City, or to Diamond City now. Uh, we've got a little train track to go across, and I think we're we're getting close. I can see it there. I think, well, no, that's actually just kidding. That looks like it's uh, maybe some kind of a factory. Oh, please don't be blocked by the train. I think we're... I think we're good. We're going to have to do a little fancy footwork here. There we go. No problem. What is this? Jumping all over. Beantown Brewery. Huh. Okay, well, um, you know, maybe we've got a little further than I thought yet to go. Let me look at the map. Yeah, I guess it is still kind of a trek, so... Um, I'm going to be following the shoreline, and I will cut ahead to when we get some action. Oh, buddy. Um, I'm getting real close. And there's a super mutant suicider here. I want nothing to do with him. Danger. Yeah, get dog meat, bro. Jeez. All right. Well, uh, we know what happens with the super mutants. <laughs> I'm going to uh, try again to avoid them, I think, this time. All right. We successfully navigated around that guy. Jeez, it is bright over here. I hear, I see, hear some gunfire. We're going to go investigate the gunfire here. It's to our right. I can hear it. It's in the city. Uh, 
Uh, there's something in there. Kind of don't want to fight. Alright. Here we go. Let's check it out. I probably shouldn't be running into this. Alright, we're getting close. I'm going to save super fast because uh, things could go south for us pretty quick. Alright. Mutant Hound? Alright. Let's pound, pound the hound. There's another hound. Oh, jeez, we got super mutants, guys. Okay, um, we need to... Alright, let's see, we need to chug some... I wish I could... Yeah, I can sort these. I'm gonna sort it by drugs. Sort by weight, sort by value. That might be good. Um, slows time for 10, ten seconds, we want that. Damage up, damage resist up. Uh, buff out is gonna give us strength. We're pulling all the stops here. Um, do some moonshine. And some bourbon. Get our strength cranked up here. Alright, we're running in. Frickity woo. This biggest mistake I've made all day. Alright. Get him. Critical. Yes! Big hit. The super mutants look a lot ganglier. Alright. Punch this dude. Did that hit him? Alright. Oh, yes. Blew his head off. Okay. Oh. Molotolotov. Alright. Oh, come on. Come on. I think we got blocked for a second there. Alright, our health is doing okay. Oh, yeah, okay. There's one more. He's up higher. Alright. Come on, jump, jump. We just killed a whole bunch of freaking super mutants with our fists. Mutant skirmisher. Oh, he's toast. Holy crap! Alright, grab that. Dang! Man, I am so cranked up right now. Jeez! Alright, let's search the pile of bodies. Mole rat meat. Pipe rifle. We blew his head up. Rad scorpion. Nice. And, no, I don't want that. Okay. Holy smokes. Glass bowl. Let's take a look at this dude. They look a lot more mutanty and a lot less super than they did in, in Fallout 3 in New Vegas. In Fallout, in the in the previous games, they were pretty much just like weightlifters. Come here, buddy. Yeah, look at that. He's just misunderstood. Oh my gosh, that was intense. Bottle cap. Let's see who's who over here. Bottle cap, mutant hound meat. Diamond City Security. He didn't make it. Diamond City umpire pads? <laughs> oh, look at that mustache. Oh, this guy got toast too? Alright, I want to check to see if any of that's better, but, uh, we don't need to... Oh, Vault-Tec lunchbox. Little pen. We don't need to, um, do that on cam, necessarily. So I'm going to finish looting here and check that equipment and see you in just a moment. Alright, in fact, that armor was a reasonably good upgrade. So, uh, huzzah! It looks like was there just two of these guys? None of them made it, I think. Man, this unarmed challenge is good, good, good. I love it. Don't shoot me. Are you friendly? You friendly? 
Excuse me. Damn. Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of guy. Damn it. Lost a lot of good guys today. When yeah, we did. gonna stop, huh? We did lose a lot of good guys today. Thank you for not shooting me, sir. Thank you. Pat, pat, pat. Oh, it says, it says on there, 500 rounds, 5.56 millimeter. It says the uh, armor it takes, or the armor, the ammo. Another turret, nice. Diamond City. This away. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open Baseball. here crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Piper, huh? You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> you. You want into Diamond City, right? Uh, yeah. Who are you passing through? Yeah, I want I in. I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? Yup. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna <laughs> open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Hmm. Better so head inside quick are... before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Reporter? Um, you, you first. first. Wouldn't have it any other way. McDiggles. You know what? We've got a bandana on, but honestly, uh, you've got too beautiful a face to wear a bandana. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty You're Sullivan, that right? paper of yours. So, I'll have that pretty You're that traitor Piper was talking about. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? See ya. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Um, yeah, free speech. Always believed Woo. in freedom of the press. Woo. No, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Oh, I thank Welcome you. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. McDonough. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. This Don't guy's let pushing this an agenda. Here. Tell you otherwise, all right? <coughs> um, whatever. Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. Uh, another see no evil type. You'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Uh, missing person. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Um, don't answer. We'll be mysterious as crap. That's my business. Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider Whoa. you Jeez. and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Mmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Oh, really? Our bandana didn't come off. Oh, we took our leg off and not our bandana. Derp a derp a derp. All right, let's do it. Into Diamond City.
So I think it's really interesting that the guards are, uh... Is that more... What is this up here? Nothing. I think it's really interesting that the guards are all toting, like, baseball gear. Like, that was more... That was the most readily available. What's going on in this thread? Diamond City Market. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the Brahmin meat? Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes they get weird stuff from the caravans, too. What sorts of weird stuff? There's our beautiful face. Weird stuff? Weirder than two headed cow meat? Yeah, Prince Charming. Weirder than that. Mirelurk bloat flies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. Fair enough. Let's barter. I'll take a look. Sure. Check out these cuts. Check out these cuts. All right, I'm going to uh, skip ahead so that you guys don't have to see the monotony of me um, selling off all my junk here. And I will see you in but a moment. All righty. Successful. Hi. Newcomer, huh? Yeah. Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history hey, lesson. Kiddo. How are the paper sales? Paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Nah, uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles... Piper seems to... I don't know, a journalist seems like a pretty good, uh... I gotta check a few things first. We'll talk later. Piper seems like a pretty good person to ask about a missing person, right? I mean, seems good. Whoa, how'd the kid get in here? All right, I've not uh, I've not stooped to stealing just yet, but someday by. soon. You holding up, Blue? Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. Uh. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What's involved? What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Um, I don't want you to come with me because I'm happy with dog meat, but... God, I'm so ugly. <laughs> All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. Okay. So, I know you're from a vault... How would you describe your time on the inside? Uh, we were frozen. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Uh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Hey baby, I'm oh over 200 God. years old. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Pretty crap. It sucks, gives me hope. How do you think or fun destroying things? It sucks. It does suck. We had, we had like, coffee poured for us in the morning. You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. I mean, my God, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, the, uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? Sean. My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me. 
Do you suspect the Institute's involved? The Institute? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Hmm. Synthetic people. Synthetic sent people? Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. Hmm. Tell me about synths. They make synthetic people. That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, warm blood? smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? Um, I don't know. I don't know. No one ever does. Just don't know. That's what makes them so scary. Dang. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Hmm. Uh, one day at a time, get revenge or don't lose hope. Thinking one day at a time or don't lose hope. Let's say don't no lose hope. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty of Oh, I forgot. You can about. walk. Look, you can look yourself. around. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before. Didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Hm. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Nick so Valentine. you think this Nick Valentine can find Sean? Yeah. <laughs> People don't like talking about him. Part of the whole head in the sand mindset Diamond City is famous for. But when you're down on your luck, no one else is going to give you a hand. He's always there. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Um. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure. Travel you with sure me. You want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Let's sure. go. Let's go. Will do. All right, dog meat. Sorry, buddy. Sad whimper. Oh, dog meat. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Let's send him to Sanctuary Hills. Confirm travel. All right. So uh, next episode, see you, dog meat. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Next episode, we're gonna be uh, heading to Nick Valentine's house, and um. See what we can find out about where Sean might be. I'm having flashbacks if you've played Heavy Rain right at the end. There's a bug where uh, you can just shout your son's name, Sean, over and over and over. So, very fun. All right, hope you enjoyed this episode. Let's Never crouch down. Shh, so quiet. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4. Tune in next time for more, friends.